given in this video i am gonna explain you some file permissions okay and how can we work with files in shell script so let's dive into it firstly we have to log in into our shell using sudo space sh comma okay and then let's start our practical now because there is no theory in this video we don't require any theory we just have some commands to see but let's start with the commands so first whenever you have to make a file either it is dot txt or dot sh you will use a touch command there okay touch command so if i'm using touch my file dot txt here i'll make a dot txt file with this command and if i press enter so my file is already created now if file exists or not if i have to see that file exists or not then i can use <clears throat> a simple syntax of if condition to see whether a file exists or not so let's see that also nano to write any condition any if else condition you will have to make one file okay so just make another file open a text editor using nano and you can take any other file like check.txt or check.shell whatever if you want to take you may take it okay like if i am about to take check.sh so i have opened it slash bash slash bin this bin slash bash it is now next line you will have to enter some if condition to check whether a file exists or not so if space now a square bracket then space minus f then space then my file dot txt as we have made a file named my file dot txt then space then you will have to close it with a square bracket and then i'll use the semicolon i'll write then next is echo command which will display my output like if file exists i will write file exists so that my users can check whether file exists or not now i'll end my if command with f5 i have to save it i'll save it with control x then y then enter my file is saved now i'll execute it and check whether my file.txt exists or not so before executing i must give some commands i must give some permissions to my check.sh file so i can give that permission using chmod 777 space the file name and it is check.sh i want to give permission to my check.sh file i have given the permission now i want to execute it i'll execute it using check.sh okay but i have to make sure that i don't include any spaces while executing so check.sh enter file exists so yes file exists because i have created my file.txt already in the first line and now if you have to read the file content how can you read that if you want to read a file content what is written into a file without going into that file without actually visiting that file you want to take the output that what is written in the file okay so whatever content if you want to check at your terminal only you can check that also using cat command or head or tail or grep so i'll use cat here cat command cat and uh, see my file.txt is empty because i just made it and i didn't uh, wrote anything into that i want what what is written in my file so i will go with check.sh because i have entered something like i have entered if condition into that so i'll check whether uh, i'm getting output or not using cat okay so cat space check.sh so yes i got whatever i have written into that file i got that as my output 
now i'll use head also to check whether head is working or not head check dot sh so yeah it's also working i'll use tail also c h e c k dot s h yes it is also working now i'll use grep command grep space whatever the file name is thck dot s h so yes it is also working now next is writing to a file sorry renaming a file right renaming a file so how can i rename that how can i rename my file so i can rename my file using mv command mv command okay just remember mv space give it control c so c okay now i am in my shell now mv space my file dot txt now i want to rename my file so mv sorry mv space my file dot txt now i want to rename this file i want to rename this file as new file suppose i want to rename this file as new file dot txt so yes it is renamed now so how how can i assure that how can i verify that i'll verify using cat command whether it exists or not okay so cat i can use any command that works on my file.txt so that i can confirm whether it exists or not so if i am reading from my file.txt but now that name is changed i have changes to new file.txt so if i check what is written into my file.txt it will show an error message saying that no files or uh, directory is there see no such file or directory is there because i have changed the name to new file.txt or new file.txt yes because nothing was written there i didn't get any output next is copying how can i copy contents from one file to another so i'll use cp command here cp space uh, i had made a file check.sh now i'll copy the contents of that file into check one dot sh file into check one dot sh file so yes my content is copied now see yes my content is copied now to the check one dot sh file because i had written commands if commands in check dot sh file but i used cp command to move the contents written in check.sh file into check1.sh and yeah i got the output i got that output using check1.sh i verified it too using cat command right i just checked whether i am getting it or not now next thing is deleting so if i want to delete something delete a file how can i delete it i can delete it using rm command rm space whatever the file name is so my file name is was file name dot txt i have named a file as file name dot txt so okay i'll use that and see what happens okay i have renamed it to new file so i i will just remove it now rm space new file okay it was new file dot txt right new file dot txt you must see these errors when you write like this okay so this is the basic thing that you should learn from here that you should enter correct name whether if you have renamed your file you cannot delete it because you want to delete if you want to delete your file you must delete that renamed file because the name is already changed now rm space new file dot txt i want to remove this file and if i'll enter then yes i will delete this file i will be able to delete this file but before this line as i wrote 
rm space new file so i didn't use any dot txt so you must have to apply extensions so that your terminal can know the what file you want to delete which type of file so you have to provide this basic information about your file that my file is dot txt and you must give your correct file name so now this file will be deleted okay i'll move on to another command that is checking file permission if i want to check my file permission then i can check it using ls space minus l ls space minus l space whatever my file name is it was check.sh okay so i use check.sh so yes i have given all the permissions rwx rws rwx read write execute all the permissions is already given to my file because i used chmod space 777 so what it does it it just gives all the permissions to your file every permission each and every permission to your file and i have already entered that so my file is having these all permissions now if you want to change your permission you can use chmod space suppose u plus rwx space check dot txt so yeah okay check dot sh i have made check dot sh not check dot txt so you must remember that also rwx space check dot sh now i have changed the permission i can view it to ls space minus l check dot sh now i can check the permission given so yes i have given all the permission root root and yes this is my files permission okay next you can also check your file size using du command du space minus h space whatever your file name is my file name is check dot sh so i can check the size which is 4.0k 4.0k this is my file size now next is searching for file how i can search for file so to search for file in shell script you should write this command find space dot space minus name space star dot suppose i want all the files i want to find all the files who are named as dot sh like who are saved as dot sh extension i want the name of all the files that is why i, I used find space dot space minus name because i want the name of all those files that are having dot sh extension so yes i can get it see check and check one are those two files which are having dot sh extension <clears throat> so this was a command to find whether to search files simply to search files you can search any files using this command if if i wanted suppose if i wanted to find all the files which have dot txt extension what dot txt extension so i can also use so if i'll be having any file it will just show I don't have any .txt file, so because I was having one, which file new file .txt, and I deleted it using rm. So if I make one file and then I'll find it, yeah, that will surely tell me or show me that yes, I am having a .txt file. Last uh, thing is comparing file. So I can compare files using cmp command. i can compare two files what are uh, the comparison in the contents between two files i can do it by using cmp command cmp file suppose i have two files check dot txt and other is check one dot txt uh, see those are not basically txt files 
those are sh files okay you must not make that mistake check one dot sh okay i am now i am comparing these two files check dot sh and check one dot sh but you already know what is written into them i had written if condition in check dot sh command uh, file sorry and i just copied the same thing into check one dot sh and now i want to compare these two so nothing is different between these two files so i'll get no output because comparison cannot be done because they are same files now here if i make touch space if i make a file named my file.txt and then if i compare them like cmp space check dot sh space my file dot txt so yes some comparison will be shown that is EOF on my file dot txt which is empty because my file dot txt is empty i haven't entered anything into it okay so this was the command which checks the, the content of the file okay so this was the basic tutorial i just used some basic commands for you i hope now you can easily tell and easily remember all the commands i hope i explained it well and basically in this video i tried to cover all the basic commands that you use you may use whenever you are using shell scripting okay and whenever you are going with a file whenever you are opening or making a file whenever you are making changes into a file these all commands will be very useful to you so i hope you like this video if you like this just click the like button share it to your friends and subscribe our channel thank you